Hi, I'm Kat Navarro with IDA TV, and I am here with the 2013 awardee of the Inspirational Leadership Award, Congressman Mark Takano. Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Kat. I'm great to be here on ID8. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> you're such an inspiration, and I think a trailblazer for a lot of people. You're known for your dedication to, to education, and I just want to know, what inspires you to keep going with, with the, the trailblazing things that you're accomplishing? Well, you know, what inspires me, I, I don't know how to quite answer that question, but I can just tell you uh, that if many of your viewers are interested in how I became a United States a congressman. Um, it began as a an idea. I, I ideated uh, when I was like 11 or 12 years old. I remember in the fourth grade writing a book report on Franklin Roosevelt. Uh -huh. um, I remember in 1972 or 73 uh, watching in my grandfather's living room uh, the Judiciary Committee hearings on impeachment of Richard Nixon. Um, and I remember seeing a very inspirational uh, speech or opening comment by uh, Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, an African-American uh, congresswoman who I found very inspirational in retrospect. Um, it, it, I thought to myself as a young boy, wow, if an African-American woman uh, can make it to the highest levels of our government, and speak with such eloquence uh, and play such an important role in a great crisis that was we were facing in our country back then. Um, you know, maybe I could be that too. Um, what also inspires me is just the suffering, the endurance and fortitude of uh, of my grandparents, uh, who uh, both my paternal and maternal grandparents who came to Riverside after World War II after losing everything they had uh, during World War II in internment camps and bravely rebuilding their lives. Uh, and they gave me the foundation uh, in three generations to be a, a U.S. congressman. And, uh, you know, it's not me alone. It was... It was a legacy. Yeah, it was generations. And really, uh, I have to say, people like Charlie Wu and right. Cause, uh, Judy Chu being the first Chinese American in Congress, one of the first Asian Americans to represent uh, California, Southern California in Congress. Um, you know, she was right there beside me during the campaign. She came out to Riverside and uh, held, uh, spoke at events for me. Uh, she, um, you know, Norm Manetta, who f one of the wards here at Cause is named for. Uh, you know, uh, a poignant moment was when I first stepped onto the floor on the day of my swearing in on January 3rd, I got a tap on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And behind me, I turned around, it was Norm Mineta. Uh, as, you know, he was a former member of Congress, served over 20 years or so. Um, former members of Congress have a right uh, to be on the floor of the House. Um, and there he was. Uh, and uh, it, was a, it was a very poignant moment to have uh, a mentor uh, uh, see one of his mentees, you know, sort of succeed. And now you're mentoring all kinds of young people. You really are a tr trailblazer, being the first openly gay Asian American in Congress, right? Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't shy away from being uh, the first openly gay member of Congress and the first openly gay member, period. Of color, right? Of color. Of color. Uh, the first openly gay uh, member of Congress who is a person of color, and also the first openly gay person from California. Right. What's remarkable is I, I do come from a state that's sort of known uh, for its social conservatism. Uh, I'm an emblem, I think, of uh, the social changes that are undergoing in our country. Um, I really believe that uh, uh, a young person, I, 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 I understand, uh, believe me, I spoke before in this interview about my own self doubt. Uh, I think young people today who are LGBT uh, have a have a far far different uh, pl place to begin. It's it's still difficult. It's still difficult to come to terms with. Um, but I think these are better times. Uh, and they have role models like you who they're able to draw inspiration from. That's right. That's right. Um, 
uh, well, you know, role model or, you know, uh, living proof, living proof uh, that things do get better. Mark, thank you so much. You're such an inspiration. And again, congratulations on your award.